Hey guys, okay, so today I'm flying to Singapore. Um, oh, Milo, this is Milo, she's making noises. Um, anyway, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> okay, so today I'm flying to Singapore, um, and then tomorrow I'm flying to Cambodia. Um, and then I'm there for five nights, and then I go to Hong Kong for two nights. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy week, but I'm so excited. So yeah, come along with me. Morning everybody. Okay, so I'm in Singapore. Um, I'm staying at the Conrad in Centennial. No, I don't know if this place is called Centennial, but it's called the Conrad Centennial. But where it's located is, is Suntec City, which you can see down here. Um, anyway, it has a lovely view over some tall buildings, and that in the uh, in between the tall buildings. Um, but anyway, so I'm literally only oh that's a bit dark. I'm only here for one night, so I got in really late last night, um, and then I now have about five hours to explore the city before I have to leave for the airport again. Um, so when I was booking my flights to Cambodia, there was quite a long stopover and um, basically I had a choice between a really awkward stopover where I'd be stuck in the airport for like six hours, which isn't too bad because the airport is amazing here, but I chose the one which was like 14 hours or something. Um, I just thought it would be a good opportunity to come back to Singapore and explore the city a little bit. Um, but yeah, like I haven't been to Singapore for nearly 10 years now. Um, we used to come quite a lot when I was younger because we would stop over on our way to Australia. Um, but yeah, it's been 10 years since I've been now. So I haven't seen the Gardens by the Bay before. They weren't here. Um, so one of the main reasons why I wanted to stop over was to see those. Um, and then yeah, I'll probably just do the other touristy stuff. I don't really have time for anything food wise like as in foodie wise <laughs> which is kind of annoying because yeah I've only got a few hours so I don't want to waste that time eating <laughs> that sounds really stupid but anyway um I don't want to waste that time eating I'd rather just spend that time exploring the city um and yeah anyway um I'm gonna go for breakfast now and so yeah, come along with me and explore Singapore in five hours. So this is a McLaren. That is a McLaren. And over here you've got two Ferraris, this one. And that one over there. Oh my god. Okay. Um, anyway, so I'm just walking um, from the hotel over to the Sky Gardens. Is it called the Sky Gardens or is that London? I'm not sure. Okay, hang on, I don't know where I'm going. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot how humid it is in Singapore. It's been so long since I've been here. <laughs> anyway, check this out. Ooh, how fancy. Okay, I'm going to the gardens. So I think we have to cross the Next bridge. Okay, so it is so hot and sticky. My hair is literally stuck to my back and I can feel the sweat dripping down my back. It's so so gross, but so humid. Anyway, I'm walking to the the garden thingy. Um, I'm only going to do the treetop walk because I only have a few hours in the city. So I'm just going to do the treetop walk and not the um, like the inside dome thing. Um, but yeah, and then after that I'm going to go to Chinatown. Um, and then probably the Merlion and the Park Key. And then hopefully I'll get to Little India as well. Um, so yeah, I want to just do the main bits. Um, the main things. Um, but mainly just so, because I haven't been here for nearly 10 years now, just to see everything again and um, put together a good blog post for you guys as well on my, my favourite things to do here. Um, even though I don't have time to go to Sentosa this time, and Sentosa is like my family's favourite thing in Singapore. Um, it's just so nice, it's so relaxing. 
Anyway, so I'm just walking to the gardens. They're just in front over here. Okay, so I'm at the top of the Sky Garden. Oh, that's a bit close. Um, oh my God, Singapore has changed so much since I was last here. It's like, it's so futuristic, it's crazy. Like, look at this. Okay, I don't want to drop my camera over the side. But like, these buildings, the, um, the domes, and then obviously the Marina Bay Sands, just compared to the old skyline over here, it literally just looks like something out of a sci-fi film. It's crazy, but so, so cool. Look how pretty the gardens are as well. Okay, so I'm now walking to the MRT to get the MRT to Chinatown. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do in Chinatown. Just have a look around. <laughs> dark clouds behind it but I don't know it doesn't look as good as I always thought it did for some reason I'm not sure why but anyway I'm gonna walk around to the Merlion now Apparently the long bar, which is usually 
bar is usually in um, is being renovated at the moment. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm just walking back, walking back to the hotel. Um, it's basically over there somewhere. Oh guys. Okay, so I literally just got back to the hotel and as I was buzzing into my room, I got a text through from Singapore Airlines saying, oh, your 4.30 flight has now been pushed back to 6 p.m. So I could have had an extra hour exploring, but I'm back at the hotel now and I'm so exhausted after the past like four or five hours of walking around Singapore. So anyway, also I'm quite drunk, so I think... Um, I'm not sure how I finished things down on the pavement <laughs> before, but so basically I went to Raffles, the hotel Raffles, because um, that's where the Singapore sling was first created, in the bar there, the long bar. Um, when I was younger, my parents took us there and um, they had a Singapore sling, but obviously we were too young, so my brother and I weren't allowed one. Um, we always used to stay at the Shangri-La and Sentosa, and my parents swore that the one on Sentosa was better than the one on, at Raffles. They thought the one at Raffles was watered down. Um, anyway, I don't think they do water them down because they just had one, and unless I'm just a massive lightweight compared to my parents, to be fair, I ha all I've had to eat today is a little bit of breakfast and an ice lolly and that's it. So maybe it's because of that, but oh my gosh, that Singapore sling has hit me so badly. I was like wandering down the road like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I literally don't know what I'm doing. I was like, and then I went through a shopping center to get back here and I was like knocking into everything. So that was just from one cocktail. And I mean, they're, they're pretty pricey. It's like $40 Singapore dollars for a cocktail, which is about 20 pounds at the moment. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so basically I'm just going to pack and get sorted and then head to the airport. Luckily Changi Airport is pretty awesome, so I should find something to do there. I don't know, maybe, you know, the rooftop swimming pool or the sunflower garden or the cinema or any of those things to keep me occupied for the extra hour and a half that my plane is delayed. But anyway, I will see you guys in Cambodia. Okay, bye!